Um, I want to actually start with the basketball stuff. I want to start uh, with with last year, actually, mm-hmm. and and sort of the buyout with Detroit, picking the Nets. Mm-hmm. Um, you know that decision to sort of accept the buyout and and go to a contender. What all went into that? Um. So I think it might be easy. Like so, last season when the season started. Derek and I get there, and, and you know we've now traded away Andre Drummond the previous year, right before the bubble. Uh, Reggie Jackson buyout, I think it was. Um, got rid of Markeith Morris. Got you know got rid of our older guys, and so they put this team together, and we're kind of like they, they're telling us we want to be competitive. You know, we want to we want to like, but what are you going to say? Um, and so they they bring us in like I think the second or third day of training camp, and they're like, hey, you know. We want to be mentor. We want you guys to be mentors to these guys, um, which is you know <laughs> the writing is on the wall. And me and him are cool with that. That was that was totally fine. Like you know, I, we had a lot of respect for Coach Casey and and uh, Arn Tellum over there. You know, like guys, guys that we all know. Um, and you know, for Derek, you know, it was a lot easier to get moved. Um, and you know, I remember like shortly after that, he was like. <laughs> 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 um, so I just kind of like stuck it out. I was like trying to be, you know, I was trying to be a, a, a sort of a mentor to the young guys and, and, you know, accept my role, not come in and like take like a bunch of shots and just be like that guy. They had averaged like a career low in shots. I think I was shooting 10 times a game. Like wasn't playing that much. Also wasn't playing well at all. Um, and so when the, when they finally came to me at beginning of February and they were like, hey, like we're just going to accept this full, full tank in a way, or develop our young guys. Um, I honestly just didn't, I didn't, I didn't put as much thought into it. I was just ready for like a new, a new situation. And I also like felt bad in a way. Like I, I was out there every day, like trying, but I just couldn't, I couldn't get my legs back un- under me after, after our training camp, like felt good going into it. Couldn't get my yeah. legs back under me after a training camp. And I kind of felt bad in a way. And I was like, you know what? This will probably be best for everybody. You know, give some money back. They get to do their thing. They get to um, play their young guys. And, and I thought it was like a, a good thing for both sides. Did you, during that little break where kind of they announced that you'd be kind of yeah. sitting out, we're going to work on a buyout. Mm-hmm. You eventually sign with Brooklyn. You get a f- couple weeks, I think, before you played I a got, game. I got six weeks. Six weeks. So, I, so you I, had like two months, basic, two, two and a half months or you got to I work had, on your body. I had nine weeks where I think, uh, maybe not that. It was beginning of February, and I didn't play till two weeks after. Yeah, basically end of March. Yeah. Maybe seven weeks. Okay. Um, yeah, so I went home. But, you know, they said, you know, we totally get if you just want to work out. Uh, we're probably not going to play you that much. And I was like, you know, if it's all the same, I'm just going to go concentrate on, on getting right. So I went back, worked out, um, got to work out for like six weeks in L.A., when I got to Brooklyn, worked out for like two weeks before they let me play a game there. And that was a huge, huge difference for me. Like getting a – I mean, when do you ever get six-week break where you're not injured right? Uh, in the middle of the season to kind of get your legs back under you? How uh, – it seemed like you were relishing the um, once you got to Brooklyn and you started dunking. It seemed like you were really relishing Trying sort of – Trying to dunk? Yeah, not just that, but like – well, I mean, you were hyper aware of the chatter on social about, you know, there were some memes about you not dunking or dunking once with the Pistons. Yeah, I mean, to be season. honest, like it, that it's it bothered me a little bit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because the stat was he hasn't dunked in 400 and something days. Sure. <laughs> I, you guys I, also weren't in the bubble. So well, I also had surgery <laughs> in, in the, no in January. I played my last game for the Pistons. Uh, before the bubble or before the pandemic hit, it, like December twentieth or something like that, twenty eighth of nineteen. I mean, twenty nineteen. Yeah. And then we didn't go to the bubble, so then I didn't play again until December twenty fourth of twenty twenty. So everybody's like, he hasn't dunked in over a year. I was like, I haven't played in over a year. <laughs> but then you know, I played those like nineteen games with the Pistons and didn't dunk. Um, so that's like kind of what it, it just like, that just pissed me off. Cause it's just like, you, you guys know the stat <laughs> you're just like yeah. choosing to be like, let's do days instead of games. <laughs> Cause games is still like, oh, he hasn't been to 19, 19 games or we could do, or hear me out. We could do just straight days. <laughs> and it's like, 
I don't know. It is funny. It's like with you, it's like you haven't made a three pointer in this number of days. Like you can arbitrarily decide yeah. anything fits in that. Thing. Yeah. When's the last time you made a three in an NBA game? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe May 8th. I, 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 I guess. It's been a while. <laughs> it's 172 days.